King Mambo, 1902, by Paul Belloni du Chelu is an intriguing exploration of African culture and folklore, framed through the lens of European colonialism. The narrative is imbued with the author's personal experiences and observations, offering a blend of adventure and ethnographic detail that seeks to capture the essence of African life in the early 20th century. The protagonist, King Mambo, embodies the complexities and contradictions of African leadership as perceived by the Western world. Duchelo portrays him as a figure of immense power and wisdom, yet also as a product of his environment, influenced by both indigenous traditions and the encroaching pressures of colonial forces. This duality is central to the narrative, as it reflects the broader tensions between African societies and European imperial ambitions. Duchelu's writing style is descriptive and vivid, providing readers with a rich tapestry of the African landscape and its inhabitants. His detailed accounts of the flora and fauna, as well as the customs and rituals of the people, are not merely background details but are integral to the story. They serve to create a sense of place and authenticity, immersing the reader in the world of King Mambo. However, it is essential to approach these descriptions with a critical eye, as they are filtered through the author's subjective viewpoint and the colonial attitudes of his time. The interactions between King Mambo and the European characters in the story reveal much about the dynamics of power and cultural exchange. Duchela does not shy away from depicting the conflicts and misunderstandings that arise from these encounters. These moments are often charged with tension, highlighting the deep-seated prejudices and assumptions held by both sides. Yet, there are also instances of mutual respect and admiration, suggesting a more nuanced relationship than one solely defined by domination and resistance. One of the most compelling aspects of the narrative is the depiction of King Mambo's internal struggle. As a leader, he must navigate the expectations of his people while contending with the disruptive influence of the Europeans. This conflict is emblematic of the broader existential crisis faced by many African societies during the colonial period. Duchelu captures this poignantly, showing King Mambo's efforts to preserve his cultural heritage and autonomy in the face of inevitable change. The theme of identity is also explored through the character of King Mambo. His role as a mediator between the old and the new worlds positions him as a symbol of cultural hybridity. This is further complicated by the author's own position as an outsider looking in. Duchelu's perspective is shaped by his background and experiences, and this inevitably colors his portrayal of African life. While he demonstrates a genuine curiosity and respect for the cultures he encounters, his narrative is still influenced by the ethnocentric views of his era. In King Mambo, Duchelu also addresses the notion of heroism. The titular character is depicted as a heroic figure, not in the traditional Western sense, but within the context of his own culture. His bravery, wisdom, and leadership qualities are celebrated yet they are also portrayed with a sense of realism. King Mambo is not a flawless hero, he is a human being with strengths and weaknesses, facing challenges that test his resolve and character. Overall, King Mambo is a multifaceted work that offers valuable insights into the complexities of African societies during a time of significant upheaval. Duchelu's narrative is both a product of its time and a commentary on the universal themes of power, identity, and cultural exchange. While it is essential to critically engage with the colonial perspectives inherent in the text, the story of King Mambo remains a poignant and thought-provoking exploration of leadership and resilience in the face of adversity.